What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech, but today we're looking at this old school rotary phone. Uh, my dad brought this over. This is actually the phone that my uh, grandma had always had at her house. They scrounged it out of the basement during a clean and they thought I might want to have a look at it. That's right, I grew up with one of these and we didn't change from this until I was about, uh, well geez, almost 18 almost 18 uh, years old uh, my family was one of the last holdouts of this and my friends didn't understand how to use the rotary what's really interesting is she had this for a long time it says area code 519 and uh, so back in the day we only had to have uh, how many four or five six so we only had to dial seven numbers and then all of a sudden we had to dial uh, the nine numbers 10, 10 numbers? Whatever. Anyways, it's interesting to see this on here, the area code, because when my gram got this phone, you didn't have to dial those numbers. You didn't have to deal with that area code issue. And, um, geez, it looks like the oh, cable. Interestingly enough, the cable is wired directly in. So, of course, the tab is broken off. Oh, shoot. Looks like it's pretty well worn in there. Anyways, there's something to be said about the old school rotary. Very nice, very old. You got your volume control here for uh, the sound of somebody. If you open it up and take it off, you see a lot going on. You can see that the external wire actually comes up <coughs> and uh, individually they all go <clears throat> to the screw downs. It's interesting. I almost wonder why they didn't put a female end on that. Perhaps, perhaps uh, what Bell was hoping would happen is if anyone had any problems, they call them directly and they'd have to come fix it. You could actually rent this phone. I think they she rented this for like five bucks, five bucks a month or something like that. But then I'm pretty sure that way, man, if you rented your phone, it also meant if something happened to your phone, uh, a technician would come and uh, figure you out. So. On the very bottom, you see the volume control for the bell. You'd uh, you would just move it. As you can see, the more you moved it, the closer or further the bell would come to the hammer. I guess the anvil will come to the hammer. So yeah, interesting stuff. Old school. I gotta say, this really takes me back. Hi, guys. Hi, Zoe. Anyways, that's it for me. Not from the Tech Bits. Have a good Thank one, you. folks.